Hi, my name is Zaina. And my name is Amir. And welcome to Two Crypto Noobs. Today we are talking about crypto news and what's going on in the crypto space. The first thing that we're going to start with is going to be, drumroll. Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Yes, Bitcoin is doing amazing things right now. Let's pull up the um, coin gecko so that we can show people what's going on with Bitcoin today. All right. Looking at Bitcoin, it's over 66,000 and nice. it looks like it's up 6.1%. Okay. And the all time high for Bitcoin was a little over 67,000 on October 20th. Um, and mm -hmm. it's making great gains. It is making great Happy gains. Happy where um, Bitcoin is going. Yeah, I do believe so. Um, as we all know, Bitcoin is trending to, in this bull market, is trending to hit at least a good. Uh, 90 to 150,000, depending on, you know, how high it goes. We really, to be completely honest, nobody really knows how high this thing can go, but it does, it does feel good for it to be, you know, trending upwards and starting to reach that all-time high point. Uh, so the sooner we hit that level and surpass it, the sooner that we can see what Bitcoin has going on for us. And of course, as Bitcoin grows, so does the other altcoins as well. Um, so I'm really excited to see where Bitcoin goes. Right, right. And speaking of Bitcoin, let's talk about um, Mayor-elect Eric Adams. Yes. Mr. New Mayor. York City Mayor-elect Eric Adams. And let's read his quote. He said, in New York, we always go big. So I'm going to take my first three paychecks in Bitcoin when I become mayor. NYC is going to be the center of the cryptocurrency industry and other fast growing innovative industries. Just wait. What do you think about that, Amir? I think it's exciting news. I mean, we all want mass adoption, everybody that's in the crypto space. And when politicians and things of that nature start speaking uh, positively about Bitcoin, um, it just makes me happy because that's this is what we want to see, right? We want to see mayors and different uh, celebrities and things talk about the coin and make people aware of its yep. benefits and for somebody to say, hey, you know, I'm I'm getting my first three checks in Bitcoin. I don't know if he's actually going to get the government to send him Bitcoin or if he's just going to repurpose his checks and put it right into Bitcoin. But regardless of the point, I do think that this is really good for the community and everything that it has to offer. Um, and since he's the mayor, who knows? Who knows what he may bring to New York City and the things that he can possibly implement. Yeah, absolutely. Adoption, adoption, adoption. And congratulations to New York City. Um, this is this is huge news. So we're we're moving towards some positive, um, a positive crypto space in New York City. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what you think about um Solana today? Yeah, Solana's doing pretty well. Um, over the past couple of weeks, Solana has been trending upwards. Um Right now, we're a little bit lower than our all-time high, which is 259.96. But as we know, there's a conference currently going on. And within, we all know, just like, what was it, Phantom? Yeah, During the conference, Phantom Conference. Mm -hmm. The Phantom Conference that was a couple of weeks ago, uh, Phantom ended up rising based upon the news. And what is, what is the saying? Buy, uh, buy the dip, sell the news, or whatever. What I, I didn't, what I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever people be saying, Buy right? the run, um, share the dip. I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Um, but regardless of what they say, um, Solana is a very good investment. We already know, you know, what it's pretty much capable of based upon, you know, the investors investing in it. It's, it's a right. good project. I'm really bullish on Solana. Um, Solana is sitting at $248 right now, a little over $248. Its all time high was $259 dollars and 96 cents on November 6. I think we're in a good space. The conference is going on now. We could we could take a look real quick. Yeah, it started it. yesterday. <laughs> and I just think we're going to hear a lot from Solana, a lot coming out of the Solana camp and I'm excited about what what we're seeing from Solana. So am I, so am I. What is there any news that's already come out during the conference? I know they've been going on for the past 2 days or so. Is there anything that they announced that could be pretty much exciting for crypto or Solana holders? Well, one of the announcements was that Brave is partnering with Solana. So that's good news, you know, with this Web3. So everything is 
everything is going to, in my opinion, go up from here with Solana. Um, Solana has great transaction um, speed and it appears to be, you know, stable. We had a little hiccup in the beginning, but it Mm -hmm. appears to be stable. So um, I'm excited about Solana and all it has to, you know, bring to the space of crypto. Definitely. Gotta love the hiccups. I mean, I'm I'm all for hiccups, even though it, it shows that there's work that needs to be done. Hiccups are usually when investors get scared and then we can get it for a cheaper price. So um, I never trip on a hiccup. Um, this is amazing technology. We're still in the innovative innovation stage, even though it's been around since 2011. Cryptocurrency in general, um, but I do believe that we're in a very good space, and Solana is helping lead the way to that. Right. Um, right. So give it up for Solana. Right. Give it up for Solana. Let's talk about how meme coins add to the to crypto space and cryptocurrency. What do you think about that? Let's look at one of the newer um, ones that's out now. Uh, let's look at Piccolo, Inu. Those, yes, I like, meme, I like meme coins, coins but I, I do really want people to start changing the name from meme coins to community coins because just right, because absolutely. it's a meme, and it's based upon different characters in society. It does not mean that it doesn't have a use case. And I right. believe that you know, like the community coin allows for people to understand what it's doing, right? So right. You know, of course, you will want to invest into a coin that has a use case so it can have longevity. Right. And I think um, I think meme coins have a good run. What, what the purpose of meme coins, in my opinion, is to bring those new retail investors into the space. Usually, you know, retail investors hear about the community coins, you know, and I'll, I'll start using your term, Amir, because I do agree with you. Um, meme has a negative, you know, connotation to it. So we want to com- embrace community coins because just like just like Shiba Inu, it has utility. You know, it started off as the world was saying meme coin, but look at it now. You know, it has a pullback yeah, now. Yeah. Let's take a look at it. But all yeah, meme coins are thing. kind of pulling back. Face, you're gonna have, you know, you're gonna have ups, and then you're gonna have days where it goes down. So, you know, that's where we are. But she, yep. you know, I mean, it's at eleven. It's it's right now. Look at the overall market cap for crypto currently. C- cryptocurrency, sorry, is sitting at three trillion dollars. That's up, right? As a total yeah. market cap, up four percent. And mm-hmm. then you have Shiba Inu sitting at number eleven. Come on yeah. now, that's that's awesome. So yeah. shout out to the community coins. Shout, shout out to the community, out to community coins. coins. Uh, like I was saying before, I do believe that community coins have a space. Um, we are invested in some community coins that are trending bullish for us um, since we right. purchased them. And right. I do believe that as long as you're making some type of profit, um, you should keep your money in so that they can do what they need to do, the development team, that is, um, to better build upon on the platform so that, you know, we can see more gains. So I'm all for community coins, bring them on. Y'all can call them, you know, ish coins, y'all can call them meme coins, y'all can call them whatever y'all want to call them, but I call it a profit. So you know, <laughs> absolutely um, because let's talk about some of the games like with Dogecoin. Dogecoin is sideways, but you know, in terms of when you got into the coin, you could have made great gains, right? And then we mm-hmm. have an S sitting at nine. We have Shiba Inu, you know, is sitting at eleven. And then one of our favorites is what Saitama. One thing we, so tell me, Inu, one of the things we love about Saitama is that it gives back to the community. It's like a savings account, you know. As they're teaching children financial literacy. So right. uh, Correct. basically what Saitama is doing is once you invest into the community, there's two things that I like about Saitama. Number one, they do have a uh, 2% redistribution um, mm-hmm. per transaction that gets redistributed to the community. Um, and then they also have a 2% burn rate of the coins and the transaction um, that goes to a dead wallet. So pretty much what the coin does is as we all know about supply and demand, um, at, for every single transaction, the supply of the coin decreases because not only, not only are people buying the coin, but they're also burning the coin and they're also redistributing the coin to other holders. Right. So I right. do believe that this is a great long-term hold uh, depending on what you decide to do. I think St. Thomas is a, is a great coin. You know, we're bullish on St. Thomas, as you mentioned, the financial literacy piece that's coming with 
um, say Tom that Ann and two percent reflections. Uh, we we've made you know great gains with this corn. So looking to see more coming from say Tama. Of course, you know the big news is mm -hmm. you, know, um, you know deploying this week. So this is great. You know another step towards you know, uh, DeFi and also those horrible, maybe we can put, you know, another nail in the coffin for the Ethereum fees. I'm sorry. I just can't stand them. They're high. They, they, they're just getting crazy. Looking forward to ETH 2.0, you know, so I think it's just great news all the way around for the cryptocurrency space. So, um, what do you think, Amir? How, how, yeah, how I agree. Think? I can't wait for Seda Mask to come out personally. Um, Seda Mask is going to do great things for not only the community, but for the holders of Saitama. Um, not only are they going to be able to hold your coins, but you're also going to be able to exchange your coins for other coins in the system. And like you said, right now, due to the type of um, mining that Ethereum does, I mean, which is proof of work, the Ethereum gas fees, which is the amount of money that we paid the miners in order to record transactions on the block, the fees are ridiculous. Like back when we first started uh, investing in crypto, the fees were what, like $30 per transaction? Yeah, so, sometimes yeah. you can get a good 15, 12, yeah, 19. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know. This is the, now the fees. Now it's 100, just... 200, you know, it just, it's just a lot. So, right. I'm seeing fees up upwards of what, over $500. And that's crazy. So, you know, everyone, one of the reasons why I think cryptocurrency, you know, was created was to have an equal playing field for everybody. How can we have an equal playing field when we have Ethereum fees that's killing us? Who can really, you know, when you have someone that want to want to invest in cryptocurrency, but they can't do it because they can't afford the Ethereum fees. So, you know, I'm looking forward to Ethereum 2.0. Hopefully that brings cheaper, you know, fees or it will bring um, cheaper fees and more affordable fees. Uh, and I'm looking forward to projects like uh, Cardano and ADA, you know, just continuing to evolve so that it can be better for all of us to invest in the space. So I don't have anything else on my end. Um, Amir, what about you? I don't have any advice on my end either. I did want to say, uh, last but not least, this is not financial advice. We just are a community that wants to grow, share information and knowledge so that we can all possibly benefit from this beautiful technology. And, you know, we hope everybody's doing doing good. Thanks for following us. Please, please, please let us know what you please. want us to talk about. Put it in the comments. Please press like and subscribe. Not only to get all the updates for our videos when we release them, but clicking like and clicking subscribe on videos that you're interested in does help the YouTube algorithm pretty much show you what you're interested in. So if you're interested Absolutely. in content like this and you press, you're press, you pressing like and subscribe on this type of content, it's going to bring cryptocurrency content and teaching materials to your homepage so that you can access it. So definitely, yeah. definitely hit that like button. And we are so glad that you joined this community and hopefully that hopefully we grow from here. Yep, absolutely. You all have a good day. Peace. All right, Dubs out. Yeah.